Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. Today, we're going to learn a special melt and pour technique that's inspired by one very talented soaper. Erin Picor of Nyad Soap Arts makes these amazing soaps she calls Ambrosia Soaps. And she's given us permission to share the concept and the techniques with you. This soap is done in multiple parts. The first step is to make the little circles you see that turn into this amazing bar of soap. First, we have to mix up our colorants. Take one teaspoon of Fizzy Lemonade colorant to one tablespoon of glycerin. Use a little mini whisk to pre-mix this. Now, you're going to be making a lot here, so you'll have some left over for future projects. Take one teaspoon of Tangerine Wow colorant and one tablespoon of glycerin. And finally, do the same with the pink color. The pink is one teaspoon electric bubble gum to one tablespoon of liquid glycerin. Now, you can do any colors you want for this, but remember, whatever colors you choose to do, make sure they are non-bleeding colorants. I made these colors super concentrated, so a little bit does go a long way. If you want to learn how to mix up even larger batches of these colorants, watch the Soap Queen short on mixing the pop colors. Now it's time to prep our circles. Melt 8 ounces of the Brambleberry Clear House Melt and Pour Base in the microwave on 30 second bursts. Add 8 drops of the pink colorant you've already pre-mixed in 5 milliliters of kumquat fragrance oil. Now stir this up really well. Pour it into one of these flexible silicone molds. Let this cool. Now repeat this with the yellow and the orange. They take just a little bit more color, 15 drops of yellow and 15 drops of your tangerine color. And then those also get 5 milliliters of kumquat fragrance oil. Once these have cooled, it's time to unmold. I love using these silicone molds because they unmold so easily. You can make these ahead of time as well. So I've made these two ahead of time and just stored them with plastic wrap to keep them moist and fresh. After you mold the soap, it's time to make our circles. I'm using the Brambleberry cookie cutter set and I'm going to use the giant one for the pink circles. You'll notice I've covered my cutting board with a freezer paper and that's because my cutting board has a little bit of texture on it and if you put the soap onto the cutting board with the texture, you can actually see the texture. So I've gone the extra mile and just covered my cutting board. Take your large cookie cutter and cut as many pieces as you can out. Then do the same with the yellow and the tangerine. I'm going to go with yellow for the medium circle and the tangerine color for the smaller circle. Remember, keep your scraps because at the end I'm going to show you a little bonus project. Now all of my circles are cut, so it's time to make the soap. Melt 8 ounces of Brambleberry's Clear House Melt and Pour Soap in the microwave. We're not going to be adding any fragrance oil to this part of the soap because we want it to be as clear as possible. So we take just the teensiest, teensiest bit of Brambleberry's liquid non-bleeding blue color and we just gently mix it in. It's like the smallest amount. You can't even measure it. It's like a little dot. Just mix that in. It really helps to make the soap a lot more clear looking. Let the soap cool to at least 130 degrees. The Brambleberry house bases do much better between 125 degrees and 130 degrees. If it's much hotter than 130-ish degrees, they tend to melt little adorable embeds like this, which changes the design. It's a different design, it's not ruined, but it isn't exactly what we planned. So keep this soap at 130 degrees or below when we pour. Before we start putting all these pieces together, take your rubbing alcohol and give all of your embeds a really quick squirt of alcohol. We want it to totally be covered. Okay, are you ready? This happens fast. Take your clear soap and start pouring. Now, as fast as you can, start tossing those circles in. You want to place these circles because this is kind of a design project, but don't be too persnickety that the soap ends up hardening up on you. Work fast. Keep spritzing with that rubbing alcohol too. That also helps with any of the bubbles that might form. Now this first layer is done. Let this sit for just 10 to 15 minutes. We want the soap to get a thick layer of skin on it, but we don't need it to totally harden up. For the second layer, it's exactly the same process as the first layer. Melt 8 ounces of the Brambleberry Clear House Melt and Pour Base in the microwave. Blue it. 
Then make sure that it's 130 degrees or below. Again, no fragrance. Now spritz that first layer liberally with rubbing alcohol. Let this soap cool for 10 to 15 minutes and it's time to prepare the final layer. Melt eight ounces of the Brambleberry White House Melt and Pour Base in the microwave. Now we do get to fragrance this layer. Woohoo! I'm gonna be using ginger ale fragrance. I'm so excited because in the shower, you'll smell the ginger ale first, but as you're getting down to our little embeds, you'll smell the kumquat too. So it's gonna be like a really cool surprise. Add eight milliliters of ginger ale fragrance oil to this white melt and pour base. Stir this in well. Spray the second layer of the clear soap with rubbing alcohol that helps the two layers adhere together. And then finally, make sure that this white soap base is 130-ish degrees in temperature or a little bit below. Now pour it in. Let this harden for a few hours. Don't put this one in the refrigerator because I don't want anything to potentially cloud that soap up. I made this soap ahead of time so we could unmold something on camera and show you how this looks. Here we go. <sighs> oh, it is looking so good. I can't wait to cut this. So here's another cookie mold that Brambleberry.com sells or you could just cut these up with a knife, but I really like the shape of this. Take your cookie cutter and just press all the way through. Really use your core strength to get all the way through. I'm using a melt and pour block to help me because my, well, my hands get a little bit sore if I don't. You could also use something like a hot pad or something like that. Then push through using your fingers. An extra pro tip, if you don't wanna get any fingerprints on your soap, you can use a little bit of smooth, freezer paper to help prevent any sort of fingerprints. Aren't those great looking? They look amazing. One last final step because we don't want to waste anything. Take a kitchen knife and just cut up any remainder bits. You can use these for guest soaps or you can use these for embeds for other projects. Now I don't know about you but this is a lot of scraps to have left over. You can totally remelt these and use these in another melt and pour project or I did this cute little fun easy scrappy soap project. Take some white melt and pour soap and melt it down in the microwave. Fragrance it. Then using the Brambleberry silicone round mold just pour it halfway full and then break up these scraps and just toss them into the bottom. Place a little toy in the top. Seriously, these turned out so cute. I love our little scrappy soaps. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. I hope you get a chance to make both sets of these really fun, easy melt and pour projects. Until next time, happy soaping. Seriously, these turned out so cute. I love our little scrappy soaps. Don't tell the original soaps, but I almost like these better than the original ones. Shh. Okay. Action. <laughs> Seriously, how cute is that? It's like a little alien spa. It's adorable. Okay, that was dumb. I should not say that. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Can I be friends with you? I want to be friends with you. Ooh, we could do things together. Oh, you're so cute. Ah, you're so cute. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We good? Yeah, cut. Okay. <laughs>